the demonstration of the power of God in your life, the miracle has happened, the Lord has touched you, come to the front of all four and all five. Come quickly to the hall of, uh, to the front of all five, all four, all five, our leaders are waiting for you. Check yourself, come quickly. Don't delay, don't waste time. Or in all the locations, in all the locations, don't go yet, I told you, it's celebration time. Don't go yet, it's celebration time. In all the locations, we want to also hear your testimonies in all the other states and uh, those who are connected to us by internet, send in your text, send in your WhatsApp, send in your Twitter, send in your, through Facebook, send in whatsoever God has done for you. Tell us what your name, I mean, tell us your name, tell us what the problem was, tell us what God has done. Come out quickly. Our leaders are here waiting for you to listen to your testimonies and to give you the chance to te testify so you, we can celebrate with you, so we can rejoice with you, so we can glorify God with you. Be grateful to God for the miracle. Be grateful to God for what God has done. Don't hide the blessing of God. Don't hide the miracle of God. Come and share. Come and testify. If you have not checked yourself, check now. The Lord has done it already. Check yourself. The things you couldn't do before, begin to do them now. Move your hand, move your leg, turn the neck you couldn't turn before. You stand up and bend over, stand, bend, see. You couldn't do that before, God has done it. You come out here, come and give your testimony. And if you are saved, you give your life to Christ. That's the greatest miracle. We want to know what God has done for you, how he has touched you tonight, how he has saved you tonight. Let our leaders attend to those who are coming out. Let's get them ready quickly and line them up so we can begin to hear the testimonies. Online, send in your testimony also. All look are connecting online, send in your testimony. And on all the locations that we are uh, having the program, get ready for the spotlighting so you can share your testimony. Let's get ready. Let's get ready. Don't go yet. Stay around and be part of this ce celebration. We want to celebrate the miracle of God. We want to celebrate what God has done. Let us rejoice together. Praise God together. Check yourself. Check it up. And come out to the front of all four, the front of all five, as you, as you see the miracle of what God has done in your life. We want to share the testimonies. Remember, the program tomorrow is four, is starting at 4 p.m. For the youth, it's 9 a.m. For the youth, 9 a.m. In all the selected schools, those who are brothers, and in our group headquarters for the ex-students, for apprentices, and for uh, youth that are out of school. Our group headquarters, be there at 9 a.m. And in the evening, in all our various locations, it's starting 4 o'clock tomorrow. Be punctual. Tomorrow is will work three day, So you should be there promptly so that you don't miss any of the blessing of God. We are starting 4 p.m. tomorrow. 4 p.m. So that we can finish in good time. Don't be late so you don't miss the blessing of God. Let's get ready. We want to begin the celebration. Are we ready now? Group pastors, are we ready? The first one? Yes, let's have the first one. The first testifier. And get the second one ready as the first one is testifying. Quickly, quickly. Tell us your name. Tell us where you come from. What your problem, what the problem was and what God has done for you. Abigail, when I came to the program this evening, I had uh, my I had severe headache, and this headache comes at least two times in a week. I remember two weeks ago I was at work, and I went to meet the pharmacist. She said maybe I will go for glasses. And I'm having heavy pressure on my eye. I said no, I'm not going to get glasses. God will heal me. And when I was coming this evening, I had the pressure. It was severe. I came for.
for the Achiever Summit. I said, God, for me to come to the Achiever Summit, respect the fact that I came and please heal me. While I was sitting there, I was feeling discomfort in my eyes and I was having backache. Once in a while, I used to feel hotness in my leg. It started a year ago. When it starts like this, the right leg becomes very dis dis discomfort me. I said, God, if you can remove this pressure in the eye tonight, it's a sign that the discomfort and the hotness that used to come to the leg once in a while will be totally gone and it's gone forever. As I was sitting there, I was, the way I was sitting, it was, it was not comfortable. At a point, I felt like sleeping. I wanted to close my eye. And something was like, Abigail, what if you close your eye now? And a miracle is about to happen. I was using my eye to rub my temple. I didn't close my eye. During the prayers, I, I got connected. I said, God, please heal me and take this heavy pressure from my eye. It was like a magic. At the end of the final amen, the headache disappeared. The pressure on the eye disappeared. The back pain disappeared. And I have faith that the hotness that used to come to my right leg once in a while has disappeared forever. Praise the Lord. Number one, it disappeared. Number two, Number three, all the pains, all the pressure, the negative pains disappear. And they have disappeared perpetually in Jesus' name. God that did it for her right in here will do it for you as well in Jesus' name. In fact, he has done it. Just believe. Just believe. And check yourself. Come and join the blessed brethren that want to glorify God. You should join them to glorify God for what God has done for you. Let's have number two. Second Praise the, the Lord. Praise the Lord. I am Sister Jemima Udo. I want to thank the name of the Lord for what he did for me. 2014, our father in the Lord came here. I was in the choir then. And he prophesied to our life that as many of us who are not married, single, whatsoever is the hindrance, the Lord has taken it away. And 2016, I wedded. Right there, he also prophesied that whenever he comes to Abuja, he noticed all the people living around uh, the opposite religion. He said, what happened? That he prophesied that I will buy land that I will, uh, I will build it and I will hab inhabit it. And 2015, it came to pass. Praise the Lord. But brethren, two weeks ago, that same house was demolished. Tomorrow will make it two weeks. Since then, I've been having sleepless nights. Nearly it's 12 one. My eyes will be open till daybreak. My brain, as if the connecting pipe, as if something is really missing. Brethren, I have not been myself. But I know when he will come another time again, I will come out again to testify about the greatness and the restoration in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Number one, prophecy fulfilled. Number two, prophecy fulfilled. She confessed her faith. Some of our miracles will be forthcoming in our life in Jesus' name. It shall be sure it's already so in Jesus' name. The third one. Praise the Lord. My name is Abigail Atta. I'm from Orozo Region, Progress Group, Precious District. I just want to bless the name of the Lord for what he has done in my life this evening. I've been having issues with my eyes right from when I was in even at a point, I had to come back from school, and my dad took me to the hospital. I've gone for different tests, but they said it's um, eye allergy. I feel like there is sand in my eyes, always scratching my eyes, and it's reddish. But I just want to bless the name of the Lord, because when I came, and then pastor mentioned uh, my problem about my eyes, and I believed, and when I came this evening, I believed God, and I said, today I must come and share my testimony. And today I am here, and I bless the name of the Lord for healing me from my eyes problem. And I'm also, like, when I eat, or sometimes I feel pain in my chest. I do have a um, heart bone. So I want to bless the name of the Lord, because I know as I'm living here, I'm living all the problems here. I'm living all the eye problems here. And I believe that God will do it for 
for you too in Jesus' name. Amen. High problem and heartburn, all affliction, gone in Jesus' name. The Lord has done it for her. He has done it for you. He's a great miracle-working God. You will testify in Jesus' name. Praise yes. the Lord. Praise the Lord. My name is Alex Aziz. I'm from Orozo Region Progress Group Resurrection District. I want to thank God for my life and also what he did for me tonight. Yesterday we were in our group and I was telling one of my brother there that I'm going to share testimony today. He said, go and share. And I didn't even know what God is going to do for me. I am an ulcer patient before and I also have back pain and chest pain. Sometimes when I'm sleeping, I feel something passing through my chest and it's always paining me. I'll be hitting the chest, hitting the chest. And also I don't take peppery food because of my ulcer. And I also have back pain. If I sit down, normal, the way normal people sit down, I used to like relax. I used to bend my body because of the back pain. Sometimes I can't bend like this because of the back pain. But this evening I came and I sat down. And to the glory of God, when pastor was preaching, I was just looking at him, looking at him, listening to what he's saying. I didn't even know that I was sitting normally, the way people normally sit down on chair. So when I adjust my body, I say, ah, this pain is gone. Oh. I sat down again, the pain was no more there. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My chest pain, if I want to know if it's still there, I used to take in, I used to breathe in. But when I breathed in for some minute, I didn't feel the pain again. I was saying, ah, this pain has gone, this pain has gone. Oh. And also my ulcer, nothing is there again. I want to say, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for Jesus. Put your hands together for Jesus. Ulcer, chest pain, back pain, gone in Jesus' name. The Lord is working miracles. Next testifier. Praise the Lord. I want to testify of the goodness of God upon my life. I have never seen a miracle like this before. I came here expecting, having other expectations that I wanted God to do for me. And when the um, choir ministers started ministering, they were talking about eyes and seeing. And the first thing that G.S. came says when he came to the stage was about the eyes, about seeing. And I was like, is God talking to me about my eyes? Because I've given up on the matter. I've realized that maybe I'll just use glasses forever. And then, you know, G.S. starts preaching. And I'm just believing that whatever God is doing today, I must live here with a miracle. And as God would have it, even while he was preaching, I started seeing him clearer. Normally, I can't see far off. I'm not able to see far. And I start seeing him clear. I'm like, ah, I'm not wearing my glasses. How is this happening? And it's just like that. And now I can see as far as the ends can see. God is good. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Just like that. That's how the miracle of God happens. Just like that. The Lord touched her eye. She can see where now without the aid of glasses. God is working wonders. He's done it for you. Believe. And you come and testify. The next testifier. Praise the Lord. My name is Sister Comfort Okale. I'm an Otako priest. I thank God. A great thing God has done for me. Since December, I'm passing pains. Chest, chest pains. Stomach pains. Leg pains. Don't go hospital. General hospital. National Hospital, they are doing all the whole tests. They are finding out all the whole medicine I drink. The medicine don't do anything. So, December retreat, they are not camp, but I come here. I camp, I lie down for up, crying every day because I pass in pains. But the glory be to God. As we come today, yesterday, I come with our group. I say, I run to come and meet where our vehicle stay. Remain small to fall. I call my children to help me to hold me. When we enter mud, I say, God, nothing pass you. I know that you are God. I'm serving you. And you will heal me for deeper life. Since 23 years I'm deeper life, it will not disappoint me. So by the special grace of God, after we go, I see difference. I follow them, go kitchen, go work today. As I do finish, I say, let me stay here. 
I change, my body change, even two legs, I can't walk. I stay here, I'm crying. Say, God, how can I come back and go back with this pains? But glory be to God. Immediately, the, our pastor prayed me. The last prayer, I got my name. Even the leg, I can march. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord has delivered her from all pains, all agony, all groaning, all sorrows. Go in the name of Jesus. Amen. The next testifier. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. My name is Elizabeth Bayode Olamide from Kubwa Region High School Group Power Line District. I'm here to testify of the goodness of the Lord upon my life for everything He has been doing for me up until this day. I've been having serious pain in my stomach, in the left side. Anytime I press it, as if I don't know what is happening there. I've not told anyone yet. Before I came here, I wrote all my prayer requests on a book and I said, God, as I will step my foot on this ground that your servant has stepped his foot on, I will not go back the same. I told him that and I said, you will touch me in this, in this program. And I said, okay. I started praying when the man of God was praying. I touched my stomach and I laid my hands. I cried unto this God. And when I said, amen, I touched my stomach and the pain disappeared completely. Disappear completely forever. Life. Amen. For I was having a headache also. Serious headache and chest pain. I normally have it. But when I prayed to this God, everything completely disappeared. Everything. Praise the Lord. Everything. Amen. Everything negative disappear. We'll take just one more and then we move over. We we'll switch over to the media section and uh, I know there are lots waiting there for us. Uh, hopefully, hopefully, we'll be able to come back to those who are waiting here. But if not, tomorrow, by the grace of God, come early, you'll be able to share your testimony. But meanwhile, just wait. Media crew, get ready. Okay, we we'll take this one while we are getting the media crew uh, set for us. The next one. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. My name is Mary Augustine. I'm from Kuba Region, Kuba Region um, um, Peculiar Group of District. I want to testify the goodness of God for my life, for how far He has been helping me spiritually. It is not by my power, not by my strength, but His grace has been sufficient for me. Right um, this evening, when I was at home in the morning, I don't know what I was having. I was not feeling too well. My head was somehow heavy. And I was told to come to Cardo for, in, for the ministration. So I told God, I said, as I'm going for this program, I don't want to come back home the same way. I just want a total difference completely in my life, in every rest of my life. And this heaviness on me, I don't want to come back home with it. And I do call the man of God, I call him my papa. I said, as, your, as my papa is coming, I'm going to see him. I want you to do something spectacular in my life. I want you to touch me. Just touch, just remove all the heaviness and give me a brown, give me a new one. Let everything be new in me. While he was praying, he said we should believe and it will be according to our faith. That word is enough for me. I said um, I believe and it will be according to my faith. And at the final amen, when he said in Jesus' name I pray. I don't know. I felt I felt a relief from my head to my stomach, and that was how I was totally ill. Totally Please healed. praise the Lord because He's mighty to save, He's mighty to deliver. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah! Totally healed. Head, stomach, all over. All the troubles gone. All the sickness is gone. And they are gone forever in Jesus' name. Amen. Check yourself. We want to know what God has done for you. You still report in the front of all four or five. Even if you cannot testify tonight, we still want to take uh, the details of what God has done for you. We move over. We switch over now to the media section. Live from Mina. We have testimony also from Lafayette. There is testimony from Jalingo. 
we begin with Mina. Over to Mina now. Jalingo, Jalingo. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, my names are Sister Blessing from Fok. Kofi group in Jalingo. Uh, I start to testify the goodness of God that he has done in my life yesterday. When we started the program, I built up my faith with all determination that today I'm going to receive my salvation, I mean, my miracle of eyes. I was having eyes problems. I was using this glass to read for many years. That's a maximum of three years. They died yesterday. Died yesterday. That uh, man of God prayed. After he preached, he prayed. He said, we should lay our hands in any place that you see that it is abnormal in your life. That God, the Almighty, the God of all flesh, we work miracle in your life. I received my miracle yesterday. I lay my hands by laying my hands in my eyes after the prayer of the man of God. He says we should check ourselves. And during the checkup, I now carried a book. This book is tiny than the Bible I was reading and even our hymn books. The lines are very tiny. I read it clearly yesterday without using the glass. Are you resisting? Are you now, for confirmation, let me read it with my natural eyes. We trust that your life will be richly blessed as you buy and read, apply the tablet, treble, and the Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We now move to Yola Adamawa State. Yola Adamawa State. What about the Gamida? Sunana Elizabeth Joseph ina so ngode ma Allah do abunde ya yimini abunda ubangiji ya yimini jia ne da tu monde banda latia ba we banda latia na kwanta ba ama kama anjani ana jani I was down bana iya yukumi jikine ena nangde ana kama ana jana ana oppressed so da na zona njia man of God they kept the kennels of kama na judge kina ni manazu ara un an tashi a can sai zo na ba zan tashi ba to ki akwai yar sister nan da ta haihu ni ne nake ma yaro wanka in na zo lokaci wanka sai in ce kai bari in yi ne in kokari na kar ta ga na bar yaro sai in kokari kamar ina jan kaina to da man of god ya ce jiya ku sa hannu 
aka inde yake damu ku na manta da yanda jikina yake ja na sai na saka no a jikina da yayi adua yayi mission ni oppress na ce ubangiji in dan ne ne ake yi in kome yake damu na na ce daga yau wannan abu zai rabu da ni da yayi adua sai wannan abu ya rabu da ni jikina yayi sake ni na ji jikina na wuyi jikina ya rabu da ni ina gode ma Allah dun abun da Allah yayi mini ina ina testify daga yola group daga all jare yola group ina so kaka suna ubangiji bari ubangiji ya samu daukaka amen praise the lord our sister has just testified about what god has done for her she is testifying from yola and she is saying that she had a terrible sickness and heaviness of the body whereby she was taking care of somebody who just delivered in that uh, how she was caring for that person at a time she felt herself unbearable the pains were so severe but when the man of god prayed yesterday the pain disappeared and now she felt a sense uh, the sensation is taken away and she's now happy everything is gone praise the lord the next testimony is from lafia in nasarawa state Lafia in Nasarawa State. Praise the Lord. I'm by name Brother Fabia Maraki. In fact, the Lord God has done a lot in my life when I received a message from the GS yesterday. I've been having a wet pain for for the past uh, 15 years, from 2005. As a young man, I can't stand for three and uh, two hours without, without looking for a seat. So when the man of God was preaching, he, he, asked, he asked the congregation to touch, that everybody should touch where it's, he's burning his or her. So I now touch my worst and realize that the pain has gone. But I could not give the testimony yesterday. I said, let me go home and check while walking to know certainly that it like, has gone. And that's why I'm here to tes testify the goodness of God today. And more miracle, more miracle shall come my way as more testimony shall be given to the Lord. Praise the Lord. We now go to Mina in Niger State. Mina in Niger State. While we wait for Mina from the social, okay, Mina is on now.
Jos in Plateau State while we allow Mina to be better ready. Jos in Plateau State. Jos. My name is Patience Gosway from Just Plateau State. I want to bless the name of the Lord. Yesterday I was coming to the program, but I was struggling to breathe. I feel something because since the month of March, my health has been afflicted, and sometimes it's come with severe cough, kata. I will sneeze and sneeze and cough, and in fact, I get ashamed when I gather among people. Immediately I start coughing, I just move out. So, but I thank God. That when I came yesterday, even though the rain touched me, it made the thing was severe. I was struggling to breathe when I was coming here. And this kind of God I had, I remember I had it when I was a little child. So, but I believe God, when the man of God was, the pastor was preaching yesterday, he read that place, uh, Isaiah chapter 53, verse 5. And I remember I normally quote that scripture whenever I'm having these challenges. And I said, today, God, we are going to perfect everything concerning me, this cough and kata. And I into it and to God be the glory before he rounded out with prayer I was okay even when they were reading singing the hymn yesterday I was struggling to sing but after the prayer yesterday in fact I was going when I was testifying among the people that carried me we were going home together I said father I had a testimony God has blessed has healed me and I never had that challenge again today I can breathe very well and also thank God today even when the man of God was preaching too he mentioned that case he said since when you are a child you lost something he said, all the things you lost when you are a child, you, it will be restored back to you. And I jotted it down. I said, today, according to the word of the prophet, the man of God, everything I lost, because I lost a lot of things, I know God has restored according to his word, because I believe. He said, let it be according to my faith, and God has done it. I know it is settled. I say, may his name be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. We now take, finally, from the social media, Fidelis John from Hadija region, Jigawa states, testified that Nathaniel, the daughter, was healed from measles tonight. She also testified how her little baby that could not sit down by herself woke up this morning after yesterday's prayer and sat down by herself without any support. Praise the Lord. Joyce Okodua said... I was having severe stomach ache that I was even purging. I went to a nearby pharmacy to get drugs, but it was not working. But after the prayer of the man of God, the sharp pain disappeared. Praise the Lord. Chuku Faith said, I came to the program tonight with serious abdominal pain, but after the prayer of God's servant, I am completely healed. I am returning without pain. Glory to God. From Taraba, Wukari region, comes this testimony. Sister AJ had severe pains on her neck since last year, January. She could not raise her hands without pains. In fact, according to her writing, she could not sleep without using her hands to support her head. After the pastor's prayer, the pains disappeared. And she said, last night, after the prayer last night, she slept well without pains. And since then till now, the pains have totally gone. And finally, the last two, this one from Canaan District in Abuja, Sheriff Group, says, I had pains with my right eye, on my right eye. And he said in Hausa, um, Kathleen Caro, that he had gone to the place for treatment, and nothing happened. But after the prayer of the man of God tonight, her eyesight became bright and very clear. Praise the Lord. And Kanu William finally had symptoms of sickness and severe pains in the stomach earlier this morning. While the pastor was praying, he believed and exercised faith according to the man of God. And the pains have now vanished away. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Our brethren that are waiting, please come early tomorrow.
uh, either here or in your district or group, so you can have the chance of testifying. And let's also write down the testimony. We praise the name of the Lord for what the Lord has done here in this place and in various states, in various locations. Yesterday you heard about uh, miracle in the United Kingdom, miracle in the United States, and different places, God's power going forth, traveling thousands of kilometers to touch people, to heal, and to save, and to deliver. And we have just started. Two days. We have how many more days? And number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, you'll be loaded. I say you'll be loaded. Amen. It's going to be great and great and great and greater and greater and greatest and greatest in Jesus' name. We will get there to higher realm, higher level in Jesus' name. So let's rise up now and worship the Lord together. Tomorrow, 4, 4 p.m., we are to be in our various locations for the program. And youths, remember, 9 a.m. 9 a.m. for the youths, 4 p.m. for the crusade. Let's pray now and worship the Lord. Thank Him for what He has done tonight, what He did yesterday, and what He has done tonight. Give God the glory. Give God the praise. Magnify the name of the Lord. Give God the glory. Give God the praise. Our God is good. Our God is the God of miracles. God of miracle, God of signs and wonders, God of demonstration of great miracle, signs and wonders. By the Lord.